Hey, welcome to another episode of Hack a Week. The project that was working on this last weekend went into overtime. So, you know what? I've got a quickie hack I'm going to put up this week. This is a little problem I solved a couple of weeks ago, and so I figured it would make a good hack that I could share with you. And it involves getting the information from a CD-ROM onto a netbook that doesn't have a CD drive built in. Now, you may say I could just go buy a uh, external CD uh, reader or read writer for you know anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks, but that would just be way too easy and there's no hack involved. So I got thinking about it a little bit and it didn't take long for the problem solving brain I have to come up with this. I've got an old IDE drive kicking around which actually survived the uh, Bob P's computer toss. And I've got also a USB hard drive external box. Yep, and it's got its own power supply. And I thought, hey, it's an IDE drive. Why not just try plugging it in to the IDE cable and see what happens? So let's do that and see what happens. Okay, pretty basic stuff here, uh, kind of plug and play, really. Um, this is the power supply for this external hard drive box. This is one of those boxes that you can put a uh, IDE hard drive into and then just package it back up inside the box like so and uh, screw the cover in place and hook up a USB cable and there you go. Uh, pretty simple. So. What I'm going to do is connect it up to the DVD-ROM I have. I'll just plug in the IDE cable first. And then plug in the power supply socket. And we will connect up our power supply here. This is a uh, 5 and 12 volt power supply that came with this thing and I've used it since in lots of hacks and stuff that's why it's got the alligator clips on it it's actually a really handy power supply uh, so we'll plug that in it's got a PS2 socket how quaint get the power plugged in here make sure we get that plugged the right way okay and then uh, we have to connect the USB cable. So here we go, USB cable into the controller board. I suppose I should set that board on uh, something besides the carpet here. There we go. Let's do that. Plug the uh, other end into the netbook. And then let's turn it on. We have power. Let's try uh, loading up a CD. Oh, wait a minute. Turn on the power strip. Oh, what's going on? What could be wrong? All right, let's double check everything. Power strip's on. Power supply is connected. There it goes. Didn't have to plug in all the way. And I hear the old little beep bonk sound turn up my volume a bit. So here's the CD that I want to read. Plug that in there. And it's reading. I hear it doing its thing. Look over here to the uh, netbook. And yes indeed it looks like uh, it's busy reading. Found new hardware. USB mass storage device. And there it is. It opened up the uh, auto run. Okay, let's try uh, an audio CD, which should work just fine. This is uh, a band I used to play with in Hawaii called Electric Soup. 
Let's see if we get audio CDs playing here. Um, don't think I have iTunes on here. It'll probably open in Windows Media Player. I think it's still trying to read it here. Doesn't sound too happy. There it goes. Maybe. <laughs> Let's open a Windows Explorer window here. Let's see what we got. There's the DVD drive. It says, please insert a disc. So I did not like that burned CD disc for some reason or other. Could be uh, something is on there. I don't know. But anyway, that solves a problem. And I think that's pretty cool. It's uh, really simple, too. And I suppose if I wanted to run this full time, I could just hack out all of this junk here, the controller board and everything, and uh, permanently attach mm -hmm. it to this. But there's no need to do that, really, because... That way I can keep using this for uh, other things as well. So, that's about it. It's not much of a hack. It's a quickie hack. DVD, CD-ROM from an old computer connected up to a external hard drive box running into the netbook. So if you need to get something on a netbook, and you've got an old IDE drive around and an old external hard drive box. Hook them all up and have fun. I don't see any reason why this wouldn't work also with a SATA drive and a SATA external box. So anyway, that's about it. It's a quickie hack. Next week we will have more fun stuff with the uh, parallax components. I'm working on the uh, compass module and a little project I have going with that. So. Until then, keep on hacking.